Hello everyone, Sally here and welcome back to another Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to build a very simple, cheap, and really compact water bottle filler for your Bedrock Edition worlds. You might be thinking that this is kind of a small and useless contraption to build, however I assure you after playing this game for a while and brewing a lot of potions, you are going to get extremely sick of filling water bottles manually. It seriously takes way too much time and it's just an annoying task, so spending one or two minutes to build a very simple redstone contraption like the ones before you here can save you so much time in the long run. As you can see, we have two designs for today's video, one on the left that is completely bare bones, very simple and straightforward, and one on the right that's a little bit more complicated but has a lot of really great features I think you'll enjoy. Overall, you will never need to manually fill a water bottle ever again. Just to answer some real quick questions that you might have at the beginning of this video, what is a bottle filler? Well, basically it takes your empty bottles and then it automatically puts water inside of them. Yep, that's literally it. Super simple, super basic little system, and it's actually completely automated as well. Both of these systems have a lot of very nice features that we'll get into in a moment. Now, the reason why you would want one of these is for a potion brewer. Any kind of potion brewer is going to be using a lot of water bottles, and filling these things can take a very long time, especially if you have a large array like this one. As you can see, we got 10 double chests of water bottles. You don't want to do that manually. You want a little teeny tiny machine to do all that for you very quickly. So if you got a potion brewer of any size in your world, I would highly recommend building one of these two designs in your world for it. So let's check out these designs in detail, shall we? So first of all, we have the super compact micro bottle filler. This thing is so dead simple, you can absolutely build it just by looking at it. And this one has actually got a couple of really good features. First of all, its size is a major bonus, but it'll also automatically keep your chest completely filled with bottles. As you can see, if we take a couple out of here, the system starts again, and then it'll stop once the chest is full of bottles, which is a really cool feature and something that you definitely want in an automatic bottle filler because you don't want to have to be running back over here turning this on when you need more running back away using them all coming back and forth now you want it to be fully automated which is exactly what this is now the issue with this design is if it has even one empty spot in the dispenser that is going to break the system as you can see there so you have to keep it topped up with bottles at all times for it to work now, once it does run out of bottles or has an issue like that, you gotta flick the lever again to get it going. So not quite ideal, minor flaw, but overall this might be just perfect for your specific brewing system. And now for the main design of today's video, this is a fully featured, fully automatic, really, really smart automatic bottle filler. So this thing has several good features and systems that that one does not. First of all, it is really quick at refilling all the bottles. As you can see, we take these out of here and refills it and keeps this chest full at all times. So even if you just take out a couple of bottles, bam, it's already refilling it, no issues at all. Second of all, you can have as many empty spots in your dispenser as you like so you can take all of these out and it's not going to be an issue at all the system will keep on running until this chest is filled up even if you have like an entire array of like a million chests it's going to keep going until they are completely full Third of all, it has a detection system for when you run out of bottles to disable the system. That way it doesn't clock and keep lagging your world when it's not doing anything at all. So basically, you put in your empty bottles up there, you take your water bottles out down here, and everything in between is completely automated. In case you're wondering how this system works, it's incredibly dead simple. We're using one of the newer features of dispensers. If these have empty glass bottles in them and they're facing a water source, not a waterlogged water source, then they can actually fill up that bottle. As you can see, we now got a water bottle in there. We can click that again and it gets more water bottles in there. The nice thing about this is if every single slot is filled up with a glass bottle, it'll shoot out the water bottle directly as you can see there, which is what the smaller version of the bottle filler relies on. Now the larger version, it doesn't matter if there's empty slots or if there's just a whole bunch of water bottles inside the dispenser, all of these will eventually get shot back out eventually and go into your chest and the system will not turn off until that chest has completely filled up. This tutorial is part of my advent calendar for December of 2020. So 
every single day in December, I'm releasing a brand new tutorial on the channel for your convenience, some sort of farm, redstone contraption, or just something fun and useful for you to build in your worlds. Yesterday, I made that micro one-touch potion brewer, and today, I'm making this thing for your convenience, because filling up your bottles is really annoying. Anyway, if you do like the series so far and want to see a lot more tutorials, like this in the future, then of course, make sure to subscribe, that is the best way to see all the videos first, but also do the YouTube things, leave a like on the video, share it around with your friends, and maybe watch longer as well. Shorter videos don't do as well because of YouTube reasons, but otherwise, let's hop back into it. And let's hop into the tutorial, shall we? For your convenience, there's going to be a full materials list for both of these builds down in the description of the video, and you can check those out if you are interested. For the tiny micro bottle filler, you're going to need a three wide by four long area and this is going to be a four tall build as well we're going to get started right here with a single chest or a double chest place a hopper on top of that swing back to the back side of that place in an upper slab and then we need a comparator facing into a block right there redstone torch and then a dispenser facing forward place a solid block in front of that dispenser with three trap doors one on every side you don't need to use trap doors if you don't want to but it does make the build look smaller now go ahead and remove that solid block, crouch, and place a water bucket on the front of that dispenser right there. Place in a lower slab right above that water source. Now go ahead and crouch and place yourself a hopper onto the side of that dispenser and get yourself a double chest above that as well for your bottles. Now we need to go ahead and place a lever right here on the side of that block by that redstone torch and fill up your dispenser with a ton of bottles. I would suggest, of course, nine stacks. That way it breaks less soon. And then just go ahead and flick that lever real quick. And as you can see, your water bottle filler is now going and it's never going to stop. And now we're going to build the more advanced water bottle filler. And for the this design you want yourself a three wide by six long area and this is of course going to be four blocks above the ground as well so we're going to start in the front build area right here and place down a double chest for our bottles you want a comparator coming out of the back side of that going into a block place down a lever right here and flick that and then place a redstone dust right here this lever is simply going to be powering that dust you will never be flicking this ever again Go ahead and place a redstone dust right there on top of that block and then three blocks in these locations like so just in that little v shape you then want to get yourself two upper slabs in these locations right here place redstone dust on both of those and a repeater facing towards the back of the build on one tick we're now going to grab ourselves a hopper and place that above the chest right there now go ahead and place in your dispenser facing forwards or right next to that hopper and place a solid block behind it right above that redstone dust. You now want an upper slab or a full block right here and place a comparator on it facing into a solid block like so. Go ahead and place a redstone torch right there off of the side of that block and then another redstone torch right here right above that redstone dust. You'll notice that this redstone torch will be powering this dust. That is completely fine. It has absolutely no effect on anything. We're now going to go back to the front side of the build and place in a hopper going into the side of that dispenser with a double chest above that for your bottle input. And now place a solid block in front of your dispenser with two trap doors, one on the front and one on the left side. Again, these are just here to make the build look smaller and then place yourself a solid block to the right as well. Remove that solid block, get yourself some water, crouch and place that in front of that dispenser. Now go ahead and place a lower slab right above that water and your system is completely done and dusted. If we put some bottles into your chest right here, you'll see that the system automatically kicks into action and will keep on going until this chest is completely filled with water bottles. And as you can see, now that the chest is full, the system has a shut off and it will not turn back on again until you take bottles out of this chest or until they're fed into a potion brewer and turned into potions. I hope it would go without saying, but of course you want to run a hopper chain from your output chest right here into whatever potion brewer you possibly have. Just make these bottles go directly into the bottle chest of literally any potion brewer on the planet and you will be good to go for a fully automatic bottle system. 
system. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about today's micro tutorial, then of course let me know in the comment section down below. I'm always trying to help you guys out as best as I possibly can. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see a lot more of them in the future, then make sure to leave a like and share it around with your friends. Subscribing is also a great idea, that way you see all the tutorials first when they get released on the channel. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys down in the comment section and in the next one. And then there was silence.